Hey, in this one I would like to cover uh, common search and uh, sorting functions in C, uh, functions that are pre-made for you in the standard library, or kind of the standard library, I'll explain later. And uh, so yeah, that uh, you can use an efficient algorithm to sort and search in your uh, in your arrays. Alright, so the probably the, the one you already know about is QSort for uh, QuickSort, which is the the most uh, I don't know the most popular sorting algorithm. I think uh, I think the, this algorithm is like extremely optimized. Like they have uh, a lot of tricks to make it very fast in the standard library, so it's nice. And uh, so the arguments to it are uh, uh, like so. Uh, so it, you will give it the, the array, a pointer to an array, the number of elements there is in this array, and the size of each one of those elements. And you need to give it a function pointer to a function to compare two elements of the array. And this function kind of acts like a, a difference function. So if you, it needs to return a negative number if the first one is lower than the second one, it needs to return zero if they're equal, and it needs to return a positive uh, integer if uh, this one is greater. Uh, oh yeah, this one is lower. Yeah, that's it. So it's kind of like if you would compare ints, you would do like uh, x minus y, like uh, this element minus this element, and this would be the result of your comparing function. So let me quickly uh, show you an example. So you have to... Uh, this algorithm is in stdlib, so you have to import that. Uh, I will make the compare uh, str function, which takes a void po pointer. It's called v1, a second void pointer, v2. And uh, I will also need a string uh, to use a string compare, uh, the string compare function. Then I will cast uh, those to just regular pointers. So uh, is equal to, uh, I will cast the void pointers to an actual uh, pointer to character. So char this v1 and the same for uh, v2. And then you just return str compare uh, s1, s2, like so. And uh, you might be wondering why is it a double pointer here? It's because uh, the void pointers is not is of course a pointer to the element and in this case the element is a pointer to a string a pointer to a character so you get a pointer to a pointer to a character basically uh, so yeah that's the compare function then uh yeah i forgot to mention i already have two little arrays of uh, one of strings and one of uh, integers uh here to just ex exemplify uh, the functions so uh, I'm also going to quickly copy paste. Oh, well, I removed it, but I have a little utility uh, macro that will come in handy. Uh, size of compute the, uh, the length of an array. So just do this divided by size of uh, uh, zero. So size of will give you the total size of the array and you divide that by the size of one element to get uh, the size of uh, the, the number of elements in the array. Uh, like so, probably need to do something like this to be safe as well. Uh, yeah, so that's good enough. Um, then let's just print the array. For int i is equal to zero. Uh, well, i array is lower than array length of strings. Uh, i plus plus. Let's just print uh, the index and the string itself. So i and strings i. I should have maybe pre-done this before the tutorial, but you can see we have an array. That's great. And let's use qsort on it. So we give it the base of the array, which is strings. We give it the number of elements, which is uh, this. We give it the size of one element. So that's size of uh, string zero. Uh, of course, this macro wouldn't work if you have an, element, an, an array with zero elements, but oh well, if uh, you're doing this on uh, statics, 
a static array, like an array that are known at, at compile timer. I think it's okay. Uh, and finally, you need to give it the comparison function. And let's print it after as well. Uh, what did I do wrong here? Uh, oh, yeah. So the, the, the pointers are const. I think that's the problem. Yes, okay, that was it. Uh, anyway, here is the unsorted array. Uh, here, uh, here you can see that using the str compare function, I was able to sort it by uh, in ascending order uh, using a, yeah just alphabetical order. And maybe an easier example would be with integers. So if you do compare int, uh, still v1 will be two, but this time we have uh, uh, int like so, x1, x2, and this time we have uh, int pointers uh, simply. And uh, yeah, it's not string compare, of course, but you just do x1 minus x2. Uh, and we can just kind of copy paste what we what we did earlier. Let's uh, comment that out for now. And uh, let's do this uh, on x's instead of strings. And uh, this will become an integer. This will become a, an integer. And uh, this will use the compare int function instead of the compare string function. Uh, anything I'm missing? I think that's okay. So yeah, my array is unsorted, as you can see. And if I run the code, uh, this is the unsorted array, and then it sorted it, uh, like you would expect in ascending order. And uh, yeah, if, of course, if you want to, in descending order, you can just reverse the the operator in the in the uh, subtraction so that you have it in a, a decreasing order uh, yeah so i think that's about it for the for q sort which is probably the most useful ones i will show in this video uh, but there is also uh, uh, merge sort and uh, heap sort which are two other algorithms that are uh, more situational, but if you know uh, a situation where you can use them and it's actually sometimes faster to use these than uh, to use quicksort, uh, they are there in the standard library, but not really. <laughs> they are in the BSD, uh, I don't know, library. So you need to actually include an extra library and include an extra header. Uh, so you need to include the uh, bsd slash bsd header at least on my machine and uh, you would have when you compile the your executable to do uh, to link it with the bsd library like so uh, that should compile and now what you can do is uh, you can just replace q sort bar by merge sort and it does exactly the same thing, but it has used uh, a different algorithm. And you can replace that by uh, heap sort. And again, uh, same thing, but different algorithm. So yeah, that's about it for the searching function that are in the in the standard library. And now I will show you quickly the searching functions. Uh, so maybe the, the easiest one to show, since we just covered the uh, sorting function and we need the array to be sorted for that one is a binary search so uh, of course binary search very uh, famous uh, algorithm allows you to quickly search in a sorted array uh, so yeah let's uh, keep our array sorted and uh, this is uh, the prototype for it so it will take uh, a pointer to the element you're searching uh, a pointer to the array, the number of elements of the array, the size of each of those elements, and a comparison function. So most of this is uh, the exact same as the QSort function, except now you have a, a key that you're so searching as well. And it will return a pointer to the element it found, or uh, null, if it didn't find anything. So uh, let's quickly do that. I sort it here because it needs to be sorted before you actually do a, a binary search. Let's do B search uh, in, so I need, a, let's say an integer middle 
uh, which will be equal to, I don't know, let's first say that it's a, an element that is not present in the array, and you just do a pointer to needle, then uh, x's, then, well, it's this, basically. A number of elements, size of each element, and a comparison function. Up. And, uh, well, it doesn't crash this, but I forgot to print it, so... Uh, we can do void results is equal to this, and we do uh, p for uh, let's print the results like so. And you can see the the result is nil uh, right now because I searched 30, 42 and it obviously doesn't exist. Uh, but if I search let's say uh, seven, and I uh, oops, I rerun this program. It will return me an address, and if I uh, actually print it, D, like so, and I need to convert this to a pointer to integer uh, result, like so, I think, you can see that it returned a pointer to, to uh, 7, which is actually uh, the value in this array. Uh, so yeah, that's basically it for the B search function. Uh, the next one is the find so instead of binary search you can also do uh, a linear search which is basically a for loop you know but probably the the smart guys in the in the standard library optimized it somehow with uh, I don't know CMD maybe I, I don't know uh, so for that one you don't need it to be uh, sorted and uh, man tree l find so it takes again a pointer to the key and I think the same arguments as uh, as the sorting function and the other uh, searching function so uh, let's use this l find and again needle and the rest uh, and this should give us the same result uh, I, because i forgot to uh, you need to include search uh, if i can spell I think you need to include search, yeah, okay. Uh, oh, and there is a weird thing about that one where the length of the array, you actually need to use a pointer for it. Uh, so, no clue why, but, so the length of the array, you need to give a pointer to it instead of the actual length. Uh, makes no sense to me, but, uh, okay. And, and anyway, if you do that, it, uh, it does return the same as the binary search. And of course, if you, let's say, like so, like so, and if you get, try to search something that doesn't exist, it will return you a null, a null pointer. And uh, yeah, that's all for linear, sur uh, linear search. Uh, well, it's not that because there is another function that I will uh, do right now. So, uh, so yeah, that's all for the linear uh, find. Uh, yeah, pretty handy if you have a maybe complex struct and a, a comparison function, but otherwise I would probably, I don't know, use a for loop. And the next one, which is actually probably a bit more interesting uh, in some cases, is lsearch. So it does the same thing as lfind, but if it doesn't uh, find it in the array, it will append the, the new element at the end of the array. So it could be nice to, like, uh, say... Uh, yeah, it's kind of like a set, like uh, you search in your array, and if it's not there, you can append it. Otherwise, you just get a pointer to it. And so yeah, it returns uh, always a, a pointer to, to the element that either it finds in, uh, uh, in the array, or a pointer to the element where it added it in the array. So for that, I'm going to make my array a tiny bit bigger, uh, so that it has room to to put the uh, the new element in, and I'm also going to steal this loop to uh, in the array after. Uh, yes, yeah, so it, sure, it's going to print a bit of garbage now because there is less than 10, ele 10 elements, but it's okay. So if you search again for a value that exists, uh, it will just return a pointer to it. So result and uh, yeah, this. Uh, that is expected. Uh, 
So yeah, it just uh, returned well a pointer and then seventy something. Wait, what am I printing? Oh, I I don't have a yeah forgot a, a backslash n. Uh, so yeah, it just returns seven and the address to it does nothing to the array. Uh, oh yeah, but I'm using I'm using l fine, but if you do l search, is the same. Uh, but if you do some uh, new number. Uh, it will uh, will not do what I expect, uh, but it did it just before. Hmm. Okay, I found a mistake in my code because before when I was testing, I was actually uh, not mod modifying the length of the array. So so it was fine. It was just I mean it wasn't fine. It was probably uh, some uh, memory and safety. So this time I tried to be clean, but by doing so now the array length is actually ten. And so when I'm doing this, I'm uh, writing elements to uh, uh, somewhere in memory where I'm not allowed to. So what I actually need, need to do instead of uh, using my array length macro is just manually specify the number of elements. Uh, so if I do this now, it should work as expected, where it returns a pointer to the to the new element that it didn't find. And it added it to the to the at the end of the array, and I uh, also know that it's also well now it makes more sense why you need to pass a, a pointer to the length because if it doesn't find it it will increment uh, the value at that pointer. So uh, here if I print the length uh, before it's five and if we add a new element now it's uh, six. So yeah, it does make sense for l search for it to be a pointer. Uh, for l find, I don't think it does, but I guess they just wanted to keep uh, the same uh, types of parameters. Anyway, that's all for uh, for today. Uh, yeah, hope you learned something from it, uh, and that those functions will be useful, especially the sorting and uh, the q sort and b search function are extremely useful. So you should uh, use those whenever possible. And uh, yeah, see you in the next one.